Now it's time to model our distillation column. We're going to go to columns and choose this one right here. The blue dot stands for the condenser. The red dot stands for the reboiler. So let's add the column right here. And I will say the columns are one of the most difficult uh, unit operations that we're going to see in this course because it has plenty of input data. Actually, we have everything that we need right here. We need to state all these for the distillation column. So first we need to add the stages where will be the feed, the type of reboiler, dropping pressure, the operation of uh, pressure opera operational operational pressure and if you have temperature estimates do it I will not choose any one of the temperature estimates the condenser yeah it will be a partial condenser which is essentially one goes out one goes liquid with the reflux and this gas flow so let's continue we have this uh, one page out of five so let's fill everything this will be the then sir it's going to be partial let's call this gas hopefully there's gas hopefully there's this delay and hopefully there are but now this will be the rear boiler duty we stated 20 stages it will be column feed and you can choose whatever tray I'm going to choose 10 right and this is all set up for the page number one page number two is choosing the different type of heaters I'm going to use the regular high seas reboiler the pressure was stated 101 which is one atmosphere one atmosphere no pressure drops even though you could add some pressure drop inside these stages right here and no temperature estimates and the flow rates we need to choose here we need 2.15 and 21.15 kilomol. The reflux ratio is 2.5 by molar basis. Basis. Ensure to use molar, not mass, not volume. And as you can see, this is 5 out of 5. We are done with the simulation. It's unconverged, which means that we need to run it and hopefully we ask God that everything goes right because we are not sure if there are going to be any errors or we need to debug so we run it and it converts which is normally expected if it is it has the data correctly many times if you are modeling new processes you will be working with plenty of unconverged uh, distillation columns so that's a very pain in the ass but try to work the best now this converge let's see the results you can see all these streams are now defined the condenser distillate the reboiler and the bottoms so the gas is mainly let's see it's mostly methane a little bit of isopentane the distillate is mostly isopentane actually I would say this is pure isopentane and the bottoms is mostly and to the cane. So this separation is awesome. I mean, of course, you can improve this, maybe adding more trays, changing the temperature, the ratio, etc. But overall, this is correct. This is the gas, which is methane, leftover methane, some distillate, and mostly and to the cane. So this was the distillation column.